And that's what he's basically have done for me. All of us, I have never had to get before thousands and thousands of people like that. But I believe that if I ever had to do it, God, if I trust God and I do, He'll enable me to do it. Mm -hmm. God takes those people that never thought they can do certain things, and He will make make something out of them. Mm -hmm. Joyce Myers said she never she made these in English. She was very very smart, and she made it on her own. But English was something that she couldn't do that well with. She said, I guess she made good enough to pass. She said she made these though, but she was always real smart in school. But she said, look at her now. She said, I'm messing with myself when I'm up here talking to y'all. She was saying, but look at me now. Speaking for all these people, all those thousands and thousands of people, she goes all over the world. Mm-hmm. No one would have ever thought, she said, she wouldn't, wouldn't have ever thought it. she would get them. Mm-hmm. But she tells how all the things she had, went through, had to go through to get them. Mm-hmm. It's a, Ephesians 2 8 said, It is by free grace. It is by free grace, God's unmeasured favor, that I am saved, delivered from judgment, and made a partaker of Christ's salvation mm-hmm. through my faith. And this salvation is not of myself, of my own doing. It came not through my own striving, but it is a free gift of God. Ephesians 2 8. Can't work for him. Can't. Can't work for the grace that God gives you. Mm-hmm. Somebody says, that, "Oh, God, I, I deserve this because I worked for her for it." And somebody came up, they don't, they didn't work for it, but they don't, they know better than the one who who uh, didn't didn't work for it. Because mm-hmm. we can't obtain this grace by our works. That's what it, why it's, it says favor. If somebody will do a favor for me, I might can't pay them back. So the same thing is with grace. We can't pay God back. What he does, what he's done to his son for us. Amen. Okay, and I and say, in uh, Ephesians 2 8, in the uh, everyday Bible, it says, Thank you so much for bringing, bringing my class. I mean, I says, I mean that you have been saved by grace through believing. Mm-hmm. You did not save yourselves, it was a gift from God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It was not a result of your own efforts. So you cannot brag about it. Mm-hmm. Some people be bragging, oh, I do this, and then the brag is bragging. Mm-hmm. Like, you, you do. You say what they think, but I ain't doing none of that stuff. But, you know, God still saves you. Mm-hmm. And, and He saved them. Not by their works, but that's the way they mind run. They think that they deserve it because they did all, all these man made things. No. Not by our works. We can't, we can't work for them. And if we think we're working for it, we never get it. Mm-hmm. God said, you, you're just working in vain. Just like running into a stone wall and stand hurting your head and stand doing it over and over again. Because it's, you're striving too hard. You're working too hard. I heard the man of God um, said he was running. He's a runner. He runs every day. And he said he was running. And I'm, I got one more scripture I'm done. He said that... Um, he trying to catch a leaf. He said, in all of these leaves was falling, so most was in the fall type of weather. He, he, he couldn't catch a leaf. So he finally just gave up and just was running. All of a sudden, suddenly a leaf fell, ran in his hand, he's had the leaf. He said, God will let me know. You don't have to strive, Joe Osteen. You don't have to strive to catch the leaves and do them. No. God uh, let us know things through little things. He answer us through little things things that happen in our life mm-hmm. if we pay attention. So God let him know you don't have to you don't have to strive and work so hard. See? When he gave it up and stopped trying to catch the leaf, the leaf just fell in his hand. I heard then I heard Paula White. She um somewhere I get in the way she said it was and he had horses. And she said she loved riding horses which I said, oh I ain't no riding horses so she said, um they put on the horse and uh, and she, they have a saddle because going through water. And she was struggling. She said she got scared because she thought she was going down. She was holding on to the horse's mane. And the horse it was getting worse and worse. And she said, I finally let go. And this horse knew. The horse took her all the way under the water and came out. That, that's what the horse was trying to do. Well the horse did does that kind of thing. He all the way under the water and come out like this. It's, 
she, she, she stopped struggling and, and, and pulling on that horse and make because she thought she was going to drown in there. But it wasn't so. The horse was trained to do that. So she began to say, um, when we, we struggled so hard. We struggled so hard working against ourselves. Just take it easy mm -hmm. and just let God do it through you. You don't have to struggle, uh, compete with nobody and struggle so hard to do nothing. Okay, now this last scripture, this is what it reads. James 4 and 6. And that's what God, He, which we're talking about God, gives grace and more grace. He gets, and He says, the power of the Holy Spirit to meet this evil tendency and all others fully. fully. That's why he says, God sets himself against the proud and haughty, but gives grace continually to the lowly, those who are humble, enough to receive it. James 4 and 6. And here in the, in the Everyday Bible, it says, in James 4 and 6, So you are loyal to God, so you are not loyal to God. You, you should know that loving the world, no, I'm sorry, James 4 and 6, 4 and 4. But God gives us even more grace, as the scripture, scripture says. God is against the proud, but He gives grace to the humble. The proud people are the people. They think they're so much more than hell and got proud looking, look down on everybody else. Proud. Proud, high minded. Think, think more of yourself than you ought to think. But the humble people think more of others than they, than they, ought, than they think of themselves. They always build another person up. That when you're humble, you think of yourself smaller than you think of somebody else. You build other, others up. And you allow them to talk about themselves. And, and okay, example me, I'm done. Years ago, I worked at the cleaners at, um, uh, up the where it used to be uh, Save a Lot. I forget what they called it back then. But anyway, um, me and another girl, and she was sewing, she was just starting out. And, um, and she was I'm sure, telling me what she had made. And I think it was her boyfriend, she was living with the And she was asking me, and he was saying, yes, she showed it. And I was saying, I was just saying, oh, it's real good. Then another girl, young lady, who knows that so came up. She said, oh, they'll, they'll make this thing of, and the girl said, you let me go on and on about myself. You didn't say nothing. And I hate the girl say that about me. I told my husband about this. I hate the girl say that how much I saw and what all that make, which I would make, I make more than that what I was making then. But she started saying all the red for that girl. And then the girl started thinking, now make me start making fun of about what she said. Now you let me go on and on. And I didn't know you so like that. And I didn't want to tell her that her that was with her time to shine. And so this is what humble people do. A humble person don't let they won't try to shine when light's not on them. Mm -hmm. When light's on somebody, let them shine. Let them have their day in the sun. Don't be bragging about yourself. Let them go on and on and on. Cause you a more humble person, type person than that. So that that's what it does. Mm -hmm. And humility will take a, a, a person a long way. Mm -hmm. And so it will cause God's grace to come upon you. When you know you can take somebody out, you can hurt their feelings and get this up there saying all kinds of stuff. This up, and you don't say it. Although you're tempted to do it, but you don't do it. So if somebody said to me, put it on the uh, internet somewhere, they think I paid tithes and I prayed with y'all. No, I know, I know they had another, another um, objective, but some of them they want to do, just ungodly. But they tell me they paid tithes, they did this, that, and I, I say, you know what? You're welcome to come back anytime, visit, anytime you want to visit. And I, I want to take that individual out. Because I'm thinking, what's that to me? Mm -hmm. What's that to me? You pay tax. Mm -hmm. You pay tax. If you pay me, you pay me money. You want to be blessed. You didn't mean no thing. I prayed with y'all. I did this and that and other. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. no, I'm trying to win the person. You know, if I don't win it to this church, I'm trying to win it to God. He said, Lord, I said, help me not to get angry, angry and just go saying a bunch of stuff. So I, I sent a thing back to him. I said, you welcome to come back anytime to visit. We we love to have you. It make it make you it make you uh, don't, don't say things when you want to say it and you know you could 
You know, you can take them out, but you don't take them out. No, let them go ahead. That's what humble people do. And so, so many other things that humble people don't brag about. You. Humble people don't brag about themselves. They let another person brag about them or brag about their own self. Mm -hmm. let, let another person say it. 